Oh. So apparently if I press F9, the Dr. Zark's stuff comes up. Did you try and stop recording? Yeah, I, I stop and then I restart. Oh. Every now and then, yeah. Um, right. Because uh, that's how I chop up episodes. Yep. And boop. 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 Yep. More fucking sugar cane. And I'm out. And I haven't found any fucking birch trees. And now, since my render distance sucks, I'm gonna be walking around blind trying to uh. fucking find it. It's gonna be the jungle <laughs> all over again. Do, do, do you want the help of, of one with superior render distance? Please. <laughs> I just, it just gazed into nothingness. Like, <laughs> I feel so bad for you sometimes. No, I see <laughs> one! I see one! <laughs> I feel so bad for you sometimes because. I forget that you have such a short render distance, so I'm like, it's over there! It's over there! And you're like, where? Where is there? <laughs> okay, I did find some. Give me all of your birch wood! Give them to me. Milk you for all you got. Ew. Milk trees. It's a sticky situation. <laughs> It reminds me of something, uh, interesting I saw on the internet today. Apparently there's this, uh, chocolate company that, it's a gourmet chocolate company, has an online store, and they make eight, eight inch long chocolate penises that ooze white Russian cream. <laughs> I shit you not. <laughs> I will find that shit again and send you the website if you want to see. I, I, it's if it's on the internet, I don't know. I don't doubt that it's legit. I don't doubt it. And they, it was chocolate too. And that shit, it wasn't just like you know, just straight with like a head. Shit had veins in it. it looked pretty damn real. Not gonna lie. Somebody liked that dark chocolate. If you know what I'm saying. <laughs> the the and the. The ironic part is, the actual chocolate itself isn't the scariest part, because those motherfuckers cost like 98 euros a pop. Well. Yeah. Yeah. Like, for 8 inches of chocolate, like, I know 8 inches is, you know, above average in the actual penis world, but, uh, in the chocolate world, 8 inches ain't no 98 fucking euros worth of chocolate. Come on. Fuck a bag of that. I'm not sell. I love chocolate. If I'm in the mood for it, I'll eat a lot of it. But I ain't selling my damn kidney to get know, a fucking right? thing of chocolate. I know. And depending on the filling you get in it, because there's different flavors, <laughs> that depends. I know, right? That depends on the price. Because the one with like the white Russian was like 98 euros, or it's one with like some strawberry thing, which d wouldn't even look right in my mind. You know, that the title like of this fucking video is going to have to be 18 and older to please. <laughs> Talking about candy dicks and <laughs> with different flavored filling. Phallic chocolate. That's There you go. Episode title right there. Phallic chocolate. There we go. <laughs> Part two. It Who's is done. white Russian. <laughs> Saw it on Tumblr, no less. Yeah, go figure. <laughs> you see the weirdest shit on Tumblr. But yeah. Thought that was interesting. And then, of course, on since it's Tumblr, they couldn't just leave it at, oh, it's a chocolate penis. Someone goes, I want to get it filled with red filling so that I can take a bite off of it and make it look like it's bleeding. And then everyone's like, you are what's wrong with this website. No, people who text post at 3 in the morning are what's wrong with Tumblr. I made a text post at like midnight. Cause since I'm feeling crappy, usually whenever I feel bad and it's not something obvious like, oh, I have a cold, I like to play the WebMD game. I, have I know cancer. I'm not gonna <laughs> I know I'm not gonna get any fucking real advice on WebMD and me and Paul have this running joke where, you know, go, Oh, I'm sick and I checked my symptoms on WebMD. 
Really? What does it say you have? Well, I either have cancer or super AIDS. <laughs> when when I had swollen lymph nodes and like my underarms, like I actually did the WebMD and like the first thing that came up was breast cancer. And I'm <laughs> no like I legit I was just like Oh my god. <laughs> I'm gonna die. <laughs> I had pelvic pain the other day and went to WebMD and they told me I was having a tubal pregnancy. <laughs> <laughs> and today I went and checked my symptoms and sorry for all the guys watching out there. This might gross you out because some guys are really sensitive about this. But basically I entered my symptoms, which is like headache, you know, shortness of breath, you know, this kind of crap. And it, it basically... It, Basically told me I was on my menstrual cycle. <laughs> my period. <laughs> it basically goes, oh, you're ovulating. Yeah, okay. <laughs> okay, whatever, WebMD. Go, go, go on ahead with yourself. Okay, whatever. Yeah, like, we're gonna, we're gonna get some, some nasty topics here, but... <laughs> did I just find... I thought I saw some... Uh, anyways, so... I, I said that my dog trainer has a urinary tract infection, and, like, nice. she's she's had them before. But my manager... You're gonna have to, like, put a warning on this episode. <laughs> but my manager said she's never had one. And, like, she has, she has two kids. And, like, um, I offered to stay late for, you know, my coworker because she has a urinary tract infection. Because if, if I was in her shoes, I would want someone to stay late for me. I wouldn't want to fucking close. Because when I worked at Target when I had one, I'm like, I was back and forth between the bathroom. I was like, I can't. Fuck all I that can't shit. do this. People are like asking me questions. I'm like, don't talk to me. Don't talk to me. Just, no. Don't speak. <laughs> Shh. And so, we're trying to explain what a urinary tract, inf- urinary tract infection feels like. I was just like, oh. okay. I was like, I was like, Becca, you need to you need to sit down for a minute, and you need to look at me. I was just like, <laughs> close your eyes, sit there. It's like imagine you're peeing liquid fire all the time, <laughs> and you have to pee all the time. And when you go pee, there's no pee there. It's just fire. <laughs> I'm just. <laughs> I'm laughing because I'm just imagining the mortified faces of all the little teenage boys watching your fucking videos right now. I just came here for Minecraft! What is peeing fire? I, I looked up Adventure Time on YouTube and this came up and I thought it would be really good. And next thing you know, they're talking about periods and peeing fire. And I don't. I'm I mean, 12 and what is this? <laughs> I'm sorry. To all of Chrissy's viewers, I'm sorry. It started out with WebMD. And then just... Well, when you start talking about WebMD, there's there's no stopping. (laughs) It's really a game with me. Like, sometimes I just go... I'm not even sick, and I just go there and put in, like, basic cold symptoms. Like, runny nose, headaches, you know, coughing. And they're just like, oh my god. You're like 98%. Go to the ER now. You're like 98% cancer. How are you alive? <laughs> how do you how do you even how do you live, bro? Like what 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 are you doing to keep yourself alive? Like you probably have AIDS. <laughs> and like cuz the dog trainer like she couldn't think of how to explain it and I was just like I get them so often that when, Tidbit for no, when followers are crazy. <laughs> no, cuz you know, men can get them, but they're yeah, very yeah. less likely to get them. Mm-hmm. And I'm trying to tell Marshall how it how it feels. And so I'm used to describing to people what it feels like when they've never had one. And I was just like, you are the luckiest, you're the luckiest soul as a female that you have never had one ever. I was just like, no matter how clean you are, you're going to fucking get one eventually. And oh, something to look forward to for all you teenage girls watching. Here. Have fun. <laughs> Being a woman sucks. I'm not even joking about that. Mm-mm. I was just... I have a friend right now that's uh, pregnant. She's like 15, mu- 15 weeks pregnant. I was about to say 15 months. Holy shit. It's late. <laughs> 15 we weeks pregnant. We have a problem. 
15 weeks pregnant. I was just talking about talking to Paul about some of the things she's having to go through because she has like she has O negative blood type and her husband has O positive, mm-hmm. which for all of you, you know, non biological inclined folks out there means she has to get this special shot just f- so the baby can continue living and it's really a complicated process that she's having to go through and all this other stuff with her OBGYN and doing all this just basic pregnant stuff I'm telling it to Paul and he's just like wh- why why does she have to go through that I'm like she has a human being growing inside her dear she goes that sucks <laughs> and I'm like oh yeah it really sucks it must suck just having to think about it and be mortified by it because I'm gonna have to do it one day motherfucker <laughs> yeah like like <sighs> my, all, all my like female co-workers like ganged up on me like earlier today and they were just like how old are you I'm like 23 and they're just like, how long have you and your boyfriend been together? I'm like, four years in June. Why aren't you married yet? Oh my god, no. Tell them to go fuck themselves. Don't I was just married. like, I ain't ready for that. <laughs> Don't get married. Don't get married. I'm married. Don't get married. I will I Bill will, married. Like, so so now that we're past the perverse crap, let me let me let me give some advice to all you uh you uh youngins. Don't get married. You whippersnappers. <laughs> Like, if you find someone you love, that is great. Move into them. Love them. But you can love each other and not get married. Says the one who's married. I'm married. <laughs> I love my husband to death. And he's my best friend in the world. But I'm just trying to convince all of my friends. Like, I will be 22 in a week, okay? I'm really young to be married. And all of my friends are around my age. I forget that I'm a year older than yeah, you I, do. I really forget that. <laughs> but, like, all my friends, like, whenever I got married, all of my friends who are my age or younger go, Stephanie's getting married. I have to get married to the next guy I see. Ugh. Like, they're going to walk outside their house, pull a guy off the street, and go, marry me. I need and you just- to marry me ASAP. <laughs> guys no don't don't do it like like i i I also have a friend who who's been with her boyfriend for like 10 years and they're still just welcome back i have three and a half stacks of raw birch i think i'm set for a while i got that from chopping down one jungle tree what all this not all of this, but I was like, of this. But yeah, uh, I have a friend who's been with her boyfriend for like ten years, and they just live together, and they're happy, and they're fine, and they're just like, oh, we don't need to rush anything, because guess what? Guess what? You know what marriage is like? It's like spending a buttload of money on one really fucking fancy party, and then it's just like dating, except your name changes if you're the girl. <laughs> It's, it's it. It's that's what it feels like. <laughs> eh. 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 I have an egg. Eggs. You gonna throw it at another chicken like you were doing earlier? No. I'll be nice. <laughs> for now. <laughs> Zebra was like headbanging over here for a second. It's getting a little concerned. I still need to go on like your your video and see if anybody said anything about my cruelty to chicken. Someone said that chicken was cute. And that person obviously is blind. <laughs> I knew someone out there was gonna be like, why? <laughs> That's pixelated animal cruelty. Hey, 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 person, person, you're probably watching this. Talking to you. Get your eyes checked. It was an ostrich, and it looked like a walking butt. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Still like that. His fucking grave is in front of our fucking house. See, we're not that bad. At least we give him a grave instead of just tossing his dead ostrich he body in the dead. woods. He burned 
to death. There's no body. I set him on fire. Okay. Ashes. Fine. We ain't fancy enough to make no Minecraft urn. We could have swept them under the rug. We don't got a rug. <laughs> we could have made one. You know, living in this cave is going to suck because cave noises. <laughs> You're lucky I turned off cave ogres. True. Even though this cave is handmade, I don't know if it would still spawn. Uh, yeah, Knowing my luck, it probably would, though. It would. Well, shit. I'm just gonna go ahead and just say excuse me for all the times I burp. Just one one big excuse me. You're not getting it anymore. I'm classy. Yeah, don't get too greedy <laughs> with these apologies. <laughs> I ain't having none of that. Okay. I used to say, like, excuse me, like, every time, even if I was home alone, I'd be home alone by myself. I'd burp, and I'd still fucking say excuse me, but that was whenever I was a teenager. I'm older now, I ain't got time. Like, if I'm in a public area, like, if I'm at work, and, like, no one's around me, and I'll, like, burp under my breath, like, I'll be like, excuse me. Yeah. But it, like, when I, I'm at I, home, I, I'm, I'm like, bleh. Bleh. <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> I'm not gross. Like, in front of other people, I do. But if it's just me and my husband, I just don't fucking care. <laughs> and on YouTube. Like, YouTube, I'm gonna see, you know, more people are gonna see this on YouTube than if I was in a public place. But still, I don't care. I'm more vul- I, like, I say more cuss words on YouTube than, uh, I do anywhere else. But that's okay. <sighs> It's, it's funny for people here who are starting to get to know me better, because I have two speaking voices. I have this speaking voice, which sounds, you know, somewhat normal. And then I have my, uh, my lazy, slang-filled, horrific speaking voice. It sounds like I am from Louisiana, like, legit from Louisiana. And it comes out sometimes when I get lazy around people I know, and they just look at me like, Who are you? What are you speaking? <laughs> and like, it, it just comes out, and they're just like, what the f Where? Where are you from? What is that? What is this nonsense? Where the, where the fuck do you go that people talk like that? The internet. I realized yesterday that where I'm from is a lot different than where other people are from. 